that was really great when we saw this. So uh, our next and last performers of the evening, I was just sitting over with them a couple minutes ago and I saw that Nick was looking at a picture of his own cat on his, his phone in order to mentally prepare himself. She's really cute. <laughs> she is very cute. I can vouch. So uh, our next performers are currently in Detroit, soon to be St. Louis. They released one of the nicest fiddle and pipes albums that I've heard in a long time. Uh, I'm really looking forward to hearing them. We're happy to have them here for the first time. Please welcome Allison Perkins and Nicholas Brown. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, everyone here is very cool, <laughs> very awesome, very smart, very knowledgeable about piping and fiddling and Irish music, and so you're all utterly terrifying to play for. So please get another drink, get drunk, That'll make me feel better. These are a very quiet set. I'm having trouble hearing them. So everyone, be quiet. No, you can talk louder and drink.
you. Thank you very much for drinking. <laughs> so those were uh, those were two slip jigs. Uh, the first one um, I found in eight different collections, and so it's cobbled together from eight different collections. If you uh, if you can name all eight that it came from then if you put it on a $100 bill, you will win a prize. <laughs> Which is my gratitude. And it's called, I Have a Wife of My Own. I do actually have a wife of my own. Her name is Allison Perkins. You might have seen her around this weekend. She's pretty awesome. Uh, and then the second one, uh, I found, uh, found in a collection um, called the trip to Yorkshire, it was called that. But I also found it in an older collection with a far better name. Uh, Allison's nickname is Allie around our house. So the tune is called Up With Allie Allie. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, now, as Shauna Rita said, by way of contrast, <laughs> we're gonna play some hop jigs. <laughs> The first one I also found in an old collection. I learned it in January 2020, and I do believe everything is my fault. It's called Sick and Very Bad. I'm sorry. It was a cursed tune, apparently. It should have stayed in the book. Um, so yeah, we're going to play that tune, and then we're going to follow it up with a tune that uh, our dear friend uh, Armand Araman wrote. And Armand's actually here. Um, and it's, a hop, it's another hop jig called Master I Go Hunting, which is a line from Ursula K. Le Guin's uh, Earthsea trilogy. It's in the, the first book. Um, and then the last tune is called what? The, the last tune <laughs> is the last, the last with a rolling eye. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Leave it to your
set of reels. Um, uh, the first one is called The Merry Sisters of Fate. And for years it was a tune I couldn't remember how it went. I would know it when it would come up in sessions, but I could never start it. And then uh, we were actually here in the Catskills last fall having kind of a unofficial Chanel party <laughs> with some friends because the Chanel got canceled. And uh, we were hanging out actually with Joey Abarda and some other people. And Joey started this tune and uh, I was telling him that I could never remember it. He's like, oh, I have the perfect thing. And he was telling us about this mnemonic that Dave Corey taught him. And so to remember the third part, which goes, <laughs> that little bit at the beginning, you go, Doogie Howser, he's the real MD. <laughs> so I was just saying, I heard that I can't forget it. So. <laughs> and then I'm going to follow that one up with a tune that I learned from Julia Clifford and Dennis Murphy called The Honeymoon. And follow that one with The Maids of Mitchelltown. <laughs> Thank you. 
was my decision for her to go first. So I'm also stupid. It's nothing I can follow that way that will not be a downer. So I'm gonna play in air. I had I had air I had an air all picked out, and then last night Patrick Hutchinson uh, bestowed me with some artwork. Um, I was fortunate to have been able to go over to a man's house, a piper named Norm Stiff, uh, when I first started playing the pipes every other week for like two years. And he didn't charge me a dime. He just took me in, said, uh, let's go down to the LCBO, the Liquor Control Board of Ontario, and get a six pack of Beamish, and uh, we'll have a couple cans, and we'll play a few tunes, and that was it. And Norm uh, learned to play the pipes from Chris Langan. Uh, and you might have heard of Chris Langan up in Toronto, because it's Chris Langan weekend up there. Uh, so I was lucky enough to learn all the basics that I needed to know from a student of Chris's. And then uh, I met Debbie Quigley, another student of Chris Langan's. Had a few lessons with her, hung out with her at lunch. Uh, I met another student of Chris's, Ray Caldwell, who's a good piper, uh, who also was a good friend and has showed me a bunch of things. And then of course I came down here 16 years ago and took a class with Patrick Hutchinson. Uh, it's his fault, everything is his fault. Uh, and so another of student, another student of Chris's. And I also spent a few months living in a little town in Ontario called Port Elgin and hanging out every week with Michael O'Kelly. Michael O'Kelly was a really good friend of Chris's, around the same age of Chris. And uh, he was around for the very first Chris Langan weekend, which was an appreciation weekend. Chris was still alive. Uh, and Chris, in the middle of the concert, appreciating him, <laughs> leaned over to Michael and said, I don't want a weekend, I want a statue. <laughs> So Chris composed a bunch of tunes, uh, a bunch of great, great music. Uh, so I'm gonna play an air that he wrote. Uh, it's called The Lament for the Yew Trees. Yew trees take a long time to grow, and so cutting them down is a travesty and a tragedy and sad. So I'm gonna play this. Uh, Chris said about this, um, I, I should explain, the artwork is the front of the Move Your Fingers, the book of Chris's music, was, was drawn by Norm, my pipe teacher. Patrick has the original artwork and has bestowed it upon me, so now I have it. Uh, and so that's why I'm playing this air. Uh, and Chris said about it, uh, some people love to cut down yew trees. So marinate on that while I tune. Get sad. <laughs>
properly plugged in before you start an ad. <laughs> we were over uh, talking with our good friend Devin McCabe, and he came over to me and he said, didn't say hi, just came over and said, you're playing Galway Tom tonight for me, right? And I said, no, I don't think so. And he said, you're playing Galway Tom for me tonight, right? So we're not gonna play Galway Tom tonight, actually. We're gonna do it. If you like this, um, thanks.
before we do that, I uh, want to say thank you to all of the organizers. Let's put our hands together for all the organizers of the small. Thank you, Brad, for the great sound. Yes, great job. Um, just so happy to be back here after three years of not being here in East Durham with all of you. This is amazing. Um, so yeah, we're going to finish off with a set of polkas. Absolutely. <laughs> So uh, my, my goal in life is to be played on the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation and they have a requirement that there needs to be a certain amount of Canadian content. So that was the real reason for playing the air from Chris Lyman. Uh, and we're gonna follow up now, we're gonna play a set of polkas, the first of which is called the Glenside Polka, and the second of which is called the Battery Single. And it's not actually a polka, it's a Newfoundland single, which I love, and it makes a great polka. So that's our Canadian content for this last set. If you're listening, CBC, Tom Power, I hope you hear this. And, uh, and then we're gonna finish it off with uh, a polka that was recorded by Billy Clifford that he called Matt Hayes, and more recently was uh, recorded by our very good friends, Robert Ryan and Eileen Gannon. So get their CD.
mountains with us. <laughs> Maybe we'll play the slides that we were going to play before, and then we cut them, so. <laughs> so you're getting more Ashley Blooper music, whether you like it or not. <laughs> Sorry, Walt Woodson. <laughs> All right, some slides for you. In characteristic fashion, the first one doesn't have a name, and the second one, I don't know what it's called.
Awesome. Okay, see you tomorrow.